everything in between A and B. You see A and B, A, B. Everything in between A and B is an entry level. Everything outside of A and B is a take profit level. And they're color coded because theoretically where you have a pullback. So the last pullback on this would be considered at what's known as the 86. 86. So theoretically, take profit. If this was moving to the upside, take profit would be at the green level, 151760. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Tuesday. I can't believe it's June already. Can you? I'm just like, this year has flown by. Um, we only got six more months left. Can you believe it? Like, well, seven technically, but you get it. Um, <laughs> this month has flown by. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to take a look at USD cap. We're going to do a multiple time frame analysis. And if you are not familiar, multiple time frame analysis is a technical analysis where we go through each time frame and we find each level of uh, key support, key resistance, and we mark those off. And in conjunction with Fibonacci, with trend lines, um, with market structure, we formulate an analysis of where we think price may go and so that's what we're going to do today um, I don't think I need to be all the way down here uh, but I will mark that off <laughs> anyway um, so my name is Casey Jackson for those of you guys who are new to the channel I'm a registered commodity trading advisor with the National Futures Association I've been working at this trading thing for the last seven years and um, what I found to be most successful for me and my lifestyle is this sort of analysis. So if you're busy and you got a lot of stuff going on, I would highly recommend that you spend a couple minutes with me um, to see if this approach may make sense for you. Um, and if, it, if you think it's something that you can learn. OK, so now I've already done the monthly. Now I am going to the weekly and I'm finding those key levels of support and resistance. And so you're probably like, OK, Casey, how do I know that a level is important? How do I know that a level is key? And so that's where your technical comes in. So you got to be able to identify what a swing high, what a swing low is. And if you don't know what that is, I highly recommend that you uh, go visit the no cost mini course and then come back to this video because it's probably going to make a lot more sense to you um, as we move forward. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm identifying eyeballing what I believe to be those key levels. And then I'm going to measure up to see how I did in comparison to the automated system. If I'm picking up the same level that the system is picking up. And I believe, I don't wanna sound cocky, but I think that I am. We're about to see, I may be humbled real fast. Uh, I am, cause I got one extra in there, but everything else looks to be on point. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the lower time frame now that I've identified those levels and I'm going to identify the levels on the next time frame, which is going to be the daily. And so I've got a level that is here. We're going to change the color of this so that I'm able to easily and quickly recognize those key levels as I move throughout the charts. Um, so we've got one there. Uh, I think I don't know why I want to keep marking this, but I think we have one here. I'll double check just to make sure. Um, I know we've got one here. And then we've got one here. Oh, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be <laughs> doing that, but I, I, I recently have started to react to like pollen. I didn't grow up with these issues, but now, oh my God, my body doesn't know what's going on. Um, my eyes itch, my throat itches, I cough like it's horrible. Okay. I keep wanting to get this and it's not one yet. Okay. Let me make sure I delete it off. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Allergies are the worst. Um, and let me get this one. I think everything else I got. So this is a daily level. All right, so I'm good. I'm going to turn this off. Then I'm going to go down to the four hour. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we have a four hour level there. 
And then I've got a four hour level of support here. I got another four hour level here and here. I think we're covered over here. We do need a support level here. So I know a lot has happened with this pair over the last week. Um, I know Canadian dollar um, reacted the way it did last week due to the rate increase and the jobs numbers that came out. Um, and so what we're going to be evaluating to see if we think this uptrend is going to continue. So I go back to the monthly. And for those of you guys who are not familiar, like I said, I'm a heavily based FIB trader. And so um, I'm going to deploy my smart flip FIB, excuse me, if I could talk, just to give you guys um, some insight into this tool and how I use it. So everything in between A and B, you see A and B, A, B. Everything in between A and B is an entry level. Everything outside of A and B is a take profit level. And they're color coded because theoretically where you have a pullback. So the last pullback on this would be considered at what's known as the 86. 86. So theoretically, take profit. If this was moving to the upside, take profit would be at the green level, 151760. So that's the Fibonacci tool. If you want a more deep dive explanation, I do, like I said, encourage you to go to that no cost video so you can take a look. Um, but looking at this, price is moving to the downside. And so in 2016, we had a high form at 1467, it looks like. And then we reapproached that price in March of 2020. Everybody know what that was. So um, we have not seen that high since then. So that was four years ago. And price has been forming lower highs. So with my FIB tool, I'm interested in what's happening to the downside. Right. And so I'm interested because you see that price action off of that level, that big, big wick. Um, I want to see what's happening to the downside. And so on a higher time frame, what I'm looking at is on the monthly, we had a high form, we had a low form, momentum was so strong, we barely had a pullback, price did not complete that sequence. So on a higher time frame, my thought is that at some point, we're eventually going to revisit this area to complete off this sequence. And I'm going to mark that with a green line as a potential take profit. Now, this information does me no good right now, because this can take months to complete. What I'm interested in now is how do I take advantage of what's happening in the market now? And in order for me to determine that, I need to keep moving through my timelines in order to see, or my time frames in order to see what I might be able to take advantage of um, and profit off of. And so now that I'm down, let's see, I'm going to click above the last high. This is the current active fib. And so what we've got going on here, we have an A high. A B low, you see it, you see it. Price came back to the 8.6 level. And so the green level, I should say, the green entry level. And we have been bouncing around and arranging for the last two years in this zone. And so we are approaching a high in this zone. And so in order for this FIB sequence to be complete, price needs to come back and revisit this 1308 area in order for the FIB to be complete. So now I know that my weekly bias is to the downside. I'm going to get rid of this FIB and then we're going to keep going because this is all great information, but I can't jump into anything right now. This is still a high time frame. So if I took a sell off of this, I probably would be in some sort of drawdown. So we need to continue to drill down, see where price is and how we can capitalize on the movement as it stands right now. Um, I don't think, yeah, that's not going to give me everything that I want to know because I don't foresee price traveling that far what I'm going to do, that doesn't give me, okay, I want to see immediately where we are in this moment. And so, oh, we've hit an extension. Okay, so on the daily, what I'm looking at, you're probably like, girl, what is you seeing? <laughs> um, what I'm looking at, we have a low, B high, we had a 8.6 pullback and price hit 
the take profit for that level. We hit it, what, yesterday at some point. And so now we're waiting on price to somehow reverse. Um, I need to keep drilling down in order to see and find a potential entry for that. So I'm gonna get rid of the smart fib. I don't like to carry them down. Um, so let's see what we got going on. And I missed the level. This is the four hour, this is a low. Let me change this over. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my fib and I'm gonna place it below the last low. This is the current active fib. We're at daily resistance. What I can potentially see, let me go back though. If I'm interested in sales, what I need to see is I need to see a break off of trend line. So I'm gonna draw this. And then I'm gonna draw this because I'm not getting in anything until I get that break. Um, I want to check and make sure that what I've drawn here is correct. And I may need to go down to the lower time frame to be able to see if this second trend line is correct. And I can look at it on this lower time frame and it looks a little janky. So I need to move that up. I'm going to. It still doesn't want to give it to me. Um, but visually looking at this, I think this is where we're going. So in order for me to enter any kind of sale, so on the hour, we've already got this set up. And when I say we've already got this set up, I mean, we have the A low, the B high, the very shallow pullback, not even a 23.6 and price looks to be stalling out at this level of resistance on the higher time frame, though, there's still room, more room to the upside. So what I can potentially see with the governor um, for the Bank of Canada speaking tomorrow, in anticipation of that, I can see price forming this level of support and then us moving to the upside just before the de-extension. And then upon that speech or right after that speech, uh, this being a good potential opportunity for a sales on down to that one, three, zero. That's what I think. We'll see what's going to end up happening. But this to me, this is a key level. This is a weekly level of resistance. Um, I see this potentially being at play on a higher time frame. So let me go down or let me go up. I'm sorry to the daily. And I'm going to get rid of these smaller ones, smaller trend lines. And we're going to grab the ray. And I'm going to go. Let me make sure this is what. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Let me go to the four. Okay, but I think, let me see. This is already happening though. And this, I like it better here. So I don't wanna cut through candles. Let me see what the system does. Yeah, okay, so they like it in, we'll move it in. And let's remeasure. This is on the four. Yep. Okay. So we played off of this trend line. Yeah. What I'd be looking for is um, price to move to the upside. Maybe revisit that weekly area at one, three, eight, four, and then dropping off to begin the move to the downside. Now, what I'll be looking for in order to signal that we're gonna have that longer term move is the break of the four hour trend line, which is the four hour chart that we're on right now. This this outer trend line, I'd be, 
excuse me, looking for a break for that. And then I believe I'll be looking for cell setups um, to complete that sequence that we looked at on the higher time frame. Um, so those are my thoughts on USD CAD. Let me know what you're thinking. How are you going to play this? Did you catch that impulse move to the upside last week with the news that came out, economic news that came out? And then how are you moving forward in USD CAD? Share it below if the video was helpful to you or you want to learn more. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I try to put out content on a pretty regular basis to help you guys navigate um, these Forex streets. And then if you think it can be helpful to someone else, make sure that you share the video with them. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I wish you a very profitable, profitable week and I'll see you next